Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into the details of the 24-hour urine test for 5-HIA, or 5-hydroxyindolacetic acid. This test is crucial for diagnosing certain conditions related to serotonin metabolism. Let's get started. Pre-test information. Before taking the 5-HIA urine test, it's important to avoid certain foods and medications. These include bananas, kiwis, walnuts, avocados, eggplants, pineapples, plums, tomatoes, and drugs like fluoracil, melphalan, paracetamol, acetaminophen, heparin, L-dopa, reserpine, salicylates, chlorpromazine, imipramine, isoniazid, MAO inhibitors, phenethazines, promethazine, alcoholic beverages, caffeine, tea, coffee, tobacco, and strenuous exercise. Try to avoid these for at least 72 hours before and during specimen collection. Specification of the test. Disease associated. The 5 HIA test is primarily used to detect and monitor carcinoid tumors, particularly those in the gastrointestinal tract. Specimen used. The test requires a 24 hour urine collection. This means you'll need to collect all urine voided in a 24 hour period. Components include. The test measures the levels of 5 hydroxyindolacetic acid in urine. Test report time. Results are usually available within a few days after the specimen is collected. Test information. 5 HIA is a major metabolite of serotonin that's excreted in urine. Normally, about 1 minus 3% of dietary tryptophan is metabolized to serotonin. However, in patients with intestinal carcinoid syndrome, as much as 60% of tryptophan is converted to serotonin. This results in increased levels of serotonin and its metabolite, 5 HIA, which can be detected in the urine. This test is vital for diagnosing and monitoring carcinoid tumors, especially those in the intestines. If you're undergoing this test, make sure to follow the pre-test instructions carefully to ensure accurate results. That's it for today's video. If you found this information helpful, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more health-related content. See you next time.